thank you guys for coming in today. Um, let's go ahead and go over the problem that I wanted you guys to do. Ah, it's not showing up there. There you go. All right. If you guys remember, what we need to do is we're trying to find the standard form. Uh, if we're looking to try to find the standard form and the, uh, the standard form to find the leading coefficient and to find the degree of the given polynomial. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put in standard form. If you guys remember, what that's going to do is it's going to be in decrease, and you're going to put it in your exponents in descending order. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to find your highest value of your exponent and then go descending order from down from there. So when I put them in descending order, what I get is I get my x cubed, negative 2x squared, plus 7x minus 5. The biggest mistake that students usually make is they see the highest coefficient, the number in front of a variable, and they want to put that as your top first number. You got to make sure you look at the exponents and then you put them in descending order. Our constants are always at the end. Then, once you have it in standard form, we can now determine what our leading coefficient is and our degree. Our leading coefficient is the number in front of our variable, and our degree is going to be the, uh, the variable for our leading term, which is x cubed. So that's how you find the leading coefficient and degree of a given polynomial.